Hey YouTube, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Reese and your girl Ray Lane. And we're back with another video. If you guys are new to our channel, you never seen our face before, make sure hit that subscribe button and turn our post notification bell on to notify you every single time we post a Reese and Ray video. Guys, don't even say it. My show is coming up oh. on the 27th at the end of this month. Tickets are like limited. So Click the link down in the description if you want to come to the show, I'm doing everything live. Everyone is going to be there that you can think of that is around us. If you guys want to meet them as well as meet us, make sure you're at that show because it's going to be an uh, intimate and really, really lit show as well. So, yeah, without further ado, as you can see in the title, it is time to react to your guys' most embarrassing stories. This is going to be fun. Yeah, we've seen people do videos like this, and like, there's some people with some really, really crazy embarrassing stories. We're and not going to say names, of course. Yeah, we're not going to say names. We're not going to say Instagram, ask or nothing. We're just reading the story. If your story is picked, you get to see us react to your uh, story. So Raylene posts on her Instagram story for you guys to uh, basically tell us your embarrassing stories. And so we're gonna just react to them. We don't have like a specific number of how many we're gonna react to. We're just gonna go with the flow yeah. and see how it goes. Yeah, so enjoy and uh, let's get straight into this video. All right, so First I'm gonna find story. one. We have not even like opened it up. So did you get a lot of responses? Yeah, I did. I actually got a lot. Okay, all right. And as we go, if you guys don't know what these are, salsa gettys. I don't know why they changed the name to uh, Squinkles. That would be funny. <laughs> All too. right. I went to hook up with a guy to, you know, wink, and he sat on my face butt ass naked, damn near crying. <laughs> first off, bro. First what? off, if you meet a guy with a kink like that, you gotta run. That's horrible. Wait, so like. He probably had a hairy booty. Like, sat on. On her face. I don't know though, like. Did he fart? Did his booty stink? <laughs> did he have a doodoo booty? Doodoo booty? Ugh. Okay, that's, that's definitely disgusting. That's a good opener though. My mom caught me eating my girlfriend's kitty. Whoa! Bro. Wait, does your mom know that you are, like, lesbian or. What? It's a boy. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was 13 years ago, so I wonder how old you are now and how old were you then when your mom caught you? Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Okay, you pick one. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna just read this. This is a long one, but we'll read it. I was at Ross with my mom and sister once. My mom and I had to pee, but there was no open restroom, so she tells me she has to pee or has to poop, not pee. She's looking at me and says, oh my God, I'm gonna shit myself. I was like, oh no, but I was laughing, LML. So we go outside and she's laughing too, but she's scared, LML, and she starts farting. And I see little turds fall down her leg. She also had a dress on, so she's laughing and farting and pooping on her way to the car. I ran back inside Ross before anyone could even see anything. How old was your mom? Okay. It doesn't even matter. That's I've kind never of, that's heard. So gross. I don't think I've heard of a mom shitting <sighs> themselves. If you're shitting yourself that easy, you know, I think you need to get something checked out. Damn, there's a lot of stories about people pooping on themselves, like that's having horrible. poop accidents. You gotta get something checked out if you're pooping yourself for sure. Pero si necesita, yo estoy aquí. One time I had sex with my own cousin at home. Wait, what the fuck, bro? That's disgusting. Why would you even admit that shit? Yeah. Bro, <laughs> I'm sorry, but whoever That's said that disgusting. shit, and if you're watching this, you're a fucking weirdo, and I'll say that confidently. You're literally admitting that you had sex with your cousin, which number one, that's incest, if I'm not mistaken. That's really bad. And number two, I hope your parents found out. And you got in trouble. And you got in trouble. You got grounded. Okay. I caught my ex cheating and I ran to his house, into his house with a taser and I threw his PS4 out the window. Period. You know what's crazy? Is when I went, when I went to jail, I was talking to this dude in there, right? Young kid, he's like 17, 18. Mm -hmm. I was like, what are you in here for? He was like, bro, I was, I was cheating on my girl at our crib. Like they have like a spot together mm -hmm. and he cheated on her and she walked in and then she was like, okay, you want to do this and call the cops on him. And I guess he trapped. So like the cops came in and raided his shit like Period. two, three days later and he went to jail. I'm here for it. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm here for it. <laughs> Period. You want to cheat? It's over for you. I slept with my son's father's barber for revenge. And I will. Wait. My son's father's barber. Oh, so just her baby daddy. 
Her, I thought she's, no, her baby daddy's barber. I know, but I thought she was saying like she slept with her son's barber. Like Okay, but that wouldn't be bad. Yeah, it would. The fuck? <laughs> that would be <laughs> what? I'm not gonna have I guess having, it I guess it depends on how old you I'm are. I'm not gonna have a nigga cut my hair if my mom is like you sleeping with him. Hell nah. Nah. <laughs> but you're scandalous. Wait, first off, what did he do for you to want to get revenge? Yeah. If he cheated on you or what? What's your most embarrassing story? I don't have one. It could be about a dude. I'm not tripping. No, I don't. What's your most embarrassing story? One. Yeah, I don't have one. You have one. You just haven't thought about it. Like, I'm thinking about one right now, but I can't think of one. Okay, let me think. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. I can't think of one right now. I peed on my Nana one time. It was me and my sisters. We were getting ready to shower together. <laughs> but we were like seven and six. Anyways. Okay. We, Anyways. You know what's crazy though? Because her and her sister still shower together. Not anymore. We Stop. haven't. We haven't lately. But actually, we did like a few months ago. I don't know. Like me and my sister are just close. Like we always have been. Like even in high school, like we still took showers together. Imagine if me and Justice showered together. <laughs> <laughs> but it's different. You guys have Peters. Y'all got cooters. Okay, but they're tucked and you know what I mean? Bro, so it's not like it's just, just dangling around out there. But anyways, we, we all had to pee so bad because we were just so weak. We couldn't stop laughing. So Marcella, she pees in the tub and I'm crossing my legs tight. And mind you, we're all naked because we're getting ready to take a shower. And I'm laughing and I'm trying to hold it and I'm trying to hold it. And literally I started peeing and I don't even know how it happened, but literally just squirted at my Nana. And I think it's cause I was crossing my legs. I was crossing uh. my legs. I was crossing them so so hard and it literally just I peed on her and then my sister she had <laughs> Athena I'm sorry she had a shit really really bad so she went to the <laughs> she went to the kitchen and she shit it in the, the in the trash can that's disgusting bro Athena <laughs> that's disgusting and my papa he found out and he got so mad he's like Pinchy Marana and like starts cussing her out in Spanish. He's like, you're a dirty pig. Why would you shit in the trash can? But that was so funny. That was disgusting. I know. Don't even, because you guys used to throw dookie balls at each other in the backyard. You guys were baby kids. They would literally get footballs and soak them in a bucket of dookie and rainwater. <laughs> and they would dip it in there and throw it at each other. That's disgusting. <laughs> Hey bro, you gotta come up with some nasty shit, like just just for fun. I have one, like I I have. It was, and this was like someone's on here being hella racist. It was like my freshman year of high school. My brother and his friend were at the house also, so they were sophomores. Um, I had the window like straight to the street, right? And so I was like literally at the point where I was like about to start dreaming, like I was asleep, like falling asleep. Boom, I sleep naked, and so I. <laughs> Someone decided to ding dong ditch us or, or slam on the windows and the doors and shit. So my homie Braxton, he was sleeping in Justice's room. Justice's room was in the hallway. Justice was sleeping in Jersey's room because she was out sleeping or she was out like at a sleepover. And then I was sleeping in my room. Someone banged on my window. And so my first instinct is to run away from the bang. So I get up. I don't even think that I'm naked. I sprint <laughs> down the hallway. Every time I see Braxton, we think back of that shit every single time and just laugh because Braxton saw everything. Naked. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this person said, I have a boyfriend, a baby daddy, and a sneaky link and have not got caught. Bro, what? So are you messing with like all three of them? Like Bro, you girls daddy, are trifling out here. Like your baby daddy, your boyfriend, and your sneaky link. Bro, y'all are trifling. What type of shit? Yeah, it's, it's a little messy, girl, but I mean, you, you know do what? you. What? Like we can't, like you do you. Um, a lot of you guys have a lot of the same stories. Like pooping yourself or getting caught by sisters and moms mm. in bed oh my god what would you do if your sister caught you like mid-stroke i don't want to picture it yeah no that would be all bad if your sister caught you it'd be different though yeah i'd be like girl mind your business get out of here i would still be embarrassed like no one wants to be caught doing the do have you ever caught your parents yes oh my god i ran into my room so quick oh my god i could still picture my dad's butt cheeks <laughs> 
That's probably the worst thing you can I'm say so as a kid. Oh my Never god. Did. Imagine. I would dead ass be scarred for life. A manager walked in on me and an old co-worker after we just had sex in the stock room. Bro, first off. Where's the craziest place you've ever had sex? That's what I want to know. You know. Porta potty. You said that was fake. Oh well, yeah. It's not fake. I You're did not disgusting. Say that was fake. Yes, you did. You told me you lied. You said I just said that. Maybe that is just a fake. No, story. it's not. You're disgusting. Disgusting. You got doodle all over you. I believe it. I believe he did it in a porta potty. I don't even want a picture. Like I don't. It makes me sickened. Like. Same. You over here telling me you did it in a porta potty. You're nasty. And that girl must have been real desperate to put her self in that position. I've never had to do it in a weird place. Like I've never. It's just weird. And I've never done it in public places either. Wow. I fell when I was on a date, and when I fell, I farted. <laughs> <laughs> What would you do if I fell and farted? On our first date? Mm-hmm. Oh. You'd be hella weak. You probably wouldn't even want to talk to me. I would after probably that. cry. I would be like, you know what? Sorry, this is just not gonna work out. <laughs> no, I'd probably just be like, I don't get You even care. Like you yeah. always have farted around me. Didn't but you? I would be so weak, like to the point where you'd probably feel so I'd probably embarrassed. cry. But I would just be laughing because I'm legit laughing. Like I wouldn't be laughing like at you. I would just be laughing just because of the situation. Um this is what Jordan's butt looks like. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was at the gym running on the treadmill and I closed my eyes and fell. Imagine busting your ass on the treadmill at the gym, full pack gym at Lifetime Fitness and you just bust your ass on the treadmill going 20 miles an hour. I would definitely love We were doing 69 mid air and his mom walked in on us. Mid air? I don't know what they mean by mid air, but I was just reading it word for word. Imagine. Bro, uh, 11 year old me shit myself because my brother made me believe the restroom was busy. That's that sounds like brother. something Jordan would do. That's not, no, it's not, no, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Okay, last one. Um, guy asked me out on a date and took me to a whole pyramid, sc pyramid scheme as a new recruit and, bought, and brought his girlfriend. <gasps> Hey, you're a G if you made a girl think that you were interested in her just to get her on your forex plan. No, you're not a G. You're messy. <clears throat> do you not know what, what he's saying? Yes, you I do. You know what a pyramid scheme is? Yeah. All That's the what... forex traders. And yeah. Stuff. Yeah. So he made her think like they were going on a date, they were going on a date just yeah. to get some money. But it's a waste of your time. She probably didn't even end up doing nothing or signing up. Yeah. So it's like, bro, you're you you lost. Either you lost. Way. You lost. Either way. Say you lost. That's what you get for being messy. Anyways, I want to do this again, but I want to give you like I want to give them like a whole day because we posted this like an hour ago. I know. And so a lot, a lot of, of the, the same. stories were the same. And we want like juicy like. We want all the tea. We want all the messiness. Like all the funny shit. But yeah, later today uh, we have a whole content night basically with the whole family. So mm -hmm. excited for that. So everyone's coming over here. We're going to eat and we're going to bust out a bunch of videos for y'all. Um, sorry if it seemed like we're stopped. You're going to, you're not going to like us. I don't think there's helium in here. Your hair That's is getting like... frizzy. It's getting frizzy. Hmm. Where? Look in the mirror. Where? Anyways, um, sorry if it seemed like we have been slacking a little bit. Uh, I've been going to therapy three times a week. And we just like, got back from LA. We just got back from LA, so we've been doing a lot of stuff. And I got to meet Snoop Dogg. Guys, we forgot our camera when we went to LA, so that's yeah. why there's no LA vlog. That would have been a We should have, because we were like one booth away from Snoop Dogg. But... Next time, we will not forget the camera. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. We have never done a video like this, so it was interesting, like kind of hearing We want to do another one. Stories. We want to do another one, but juicy. juicy. I don't want to say dirty, but like, you know what I mean. No, we just want some crazy details. We want details. Yeah. Yeah. Love you guys so much, and we'll see you guys next time on a tripod. Let's get it.